Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Mark Lar one Today we're going to be doing an oil change and an oil filter change on a Ford F-150 years 2011 to 2014. This is a 2012 that I have, so let's get started. So first, underneath the vehicle here, towards the front, there are two little access points that are covered by square rubber uh, panels. Um, I'm missing one of the rubber panels on this vehicle, but those are the two positions that you take those rubber panels off of. The next step, you're going to be taking off the dust guard underneath your vehicle, which will give you access to the oil, um, the oil pan. There's four different screws on this, so you got to remove all different four screws. And once you remove it, move it out of the way so you can get your oil pan underneath there. Next, you're going to locate the bolt on the bottom of your oil pan. I have used a 5 8 ratchet here in order to take off this bolt. And there is a little washer, a little uh, rubber um, grommet on the on the bolt, so make sure you don't lose that. And do inspect that and make sure if it's broken, cracked, anything like that, that you do replace it. Now watch out for your oil. It will be shooting out in a horizontal lateral fashion, arcing downward towards the ground. So make sure you have your oil pan in the appropriate location. And if you're filming a video, make sure it doesn't hit the camera. Also, once you have all the oil drained out, replace that bolt, screw it on nice and tight. Now we have underneath, we're gonna do our oil filter change. There's another dust guard we need to take off. There are four, I think there's four different plastic tabs that you unscrew here in order to gain access to your oil filter. So now we have that dust guard off. Gaining access to the oil filter, it's a really awkward position that you have to get yourself into to get this oil filter. You can't get it from the top very easily. You have to get it from the bottom and you kind of have to lay on your back in order to get it. So reach up underneath there, you'll find it, unscrew it counterclockwise, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and um, make sure you just don't dump oil all over your face because that oil filter is full of oil. Make sure you keep it upright. Also, make sure you have drip pans underneath those two access points that had the rubber square covers on them. There's our old oil filter, and here's our new oil filter. Compare the two, make sure that they are the correct size. You do not want to put the wrong oil filter on your vehicle. I've seen it happen and oil just spills all over your driveway because it doesn't make a proper seal. So tighten that bad boy back up and you'll be good to go. On to the next step. It is a really awkward position that you have to get yourself into, so be mindful. After you have your oil filter installed properly and tightened, you're going to reattach this dust cover with the plastic attachments. You're also going to want to reattach the other dust cover that was protecting the, um, the transmission and the oil, um, the oil pan, so go ahead and reattach that. I don't have that videoed, but do that. Now 
Next, reinstall your rubber covers for those two access points where oil drips out of. We only have one, so we're only reinstalling the one. All right, so now we are on to filling your vehicle with oil. Make sure you have purchased the correct oil. Remove the oil cap. Put in a funnel if, you, uh, if you're not feeling lucky. If you're feeling lucky, you don't need a funnel and just you can shoot away. But um, make sure you purchase the right oil. We purchased the incorrect oil. We had uh, 5W20. This vehicle requires 5W30. We're using the mobile one. Make sure you add the appropriate amount of oil to your vehicle. I think this takes six quarts. All right, and once you got your oil in there, go ahead and check your dipstick. Make sure you have enough oil in there. If it's low, add some more. We are above the fill line at this point, so. We're going to start the engine and finish it from there. Remove your funnel, replace your cap. and we're good to go. All right guys, thanks for checking out this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I also have a video attached on how to reset the um, the CPU, the onboard computer, the oil reset engine light. So um, check out that video. I've got a link in the description. You can click on as well in the video. Thanks again guys, Markler1. See you later.